Hello, everybody that has tuned in to this video. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy. With everything that's going on in the world, I, I pray that everybody is doing their best to, you know, stay encouraged. I hope this video finds you very well and encouraged. Um, I haven't been posting lately because I have to be honest, I just haven't been motivated or anything like that, but that's no excuse. But anyways, I'm going to just get right to it. Um, I just feel, I just been getting the lately the encouragement to go ahead and record this video to tell my little testimony in regards to the subject at hand which is smoking weed um now i just want to start with i don't smoke weed anymore but i used to i used to smoke weed all day every day um and it was to a point in my life where i didn't even think i was going to be able to quit but to God be the glory, I am, as of September 18th of 2020, I have been clean for two years. So it's been a little over two years. Thank God. Because like I said, I didn't think I was ever going to quit because I love my weed, okay? But I know that it's a lot of people out here that are struggling with uh, trying to quit smoking weed. And... I was at that point in my life too when I was smoking because God had finally convicted me. When I first started smoking weed, I was not convicted at all. I didn't have no type of guilt. I was smoking it, smoking it um, whenever I wanted to with no type of conscience or nothing and didn't care if anybody knew I was smoking it. Well, actually, it was sometime where I didn't care that somebody knew, but I wanted my weed when I wanted it and I got it, Okay. So, like I said, it's, I know some people out here that struggle. So, this video is for you. And then it's also for people that struggle with anything. So, I'm going to just tell you all my little testimony and tell you all how you can get through it and be delivered. So, um, like I said, I was smoking weed heavy. It wasn't on regular weed either. It was like Reggie's. And I also want to put a, disclaim a disclaimer out there. Like, I am not judging anybody. This video is not to judge anybody or make anybody feel condemned or any way, any like, any way like that. Um, the reason being is because I am not in a position to judge anybody. I cannot judge anybody. Um, I'm not Jesus. He's the only one that can judge somebody. God himself, you know. And none of us here on this earth are in a position to judge anybody. So I just want you to know that I'm not judging nobody because I was once there and... It's other things in my life that I'm still struggling with. So I am not sin free. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect and we're never going to be perfect. We can strive to be perfect, but we're never going to be perfect. And so I just want to let you know, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to help you. Um, so when I was trying to... <laughs> wow, that, that ain't nothing but God. I was just... Flipping through my Bible and where it opened at, the title of the message for the scripture says, Deliverance Promise. That's how you know the Lord is all up in here. All up in this video, all up in the words that are coming through my mouth. Like, if you're struggling with trying to quit we trust and believe that you're going to be delivered. But you have to claim it in the name of Jesus that you're going to be delivered. Just like I did. I was, when I first started smoking weed for the first couple of week, years, I didn't have any type of conviction, but it was one day when I sat on the side of my bed and I lit the blunt to smoke it and I had this heavy conviction come upon, come upon me. Conviction, in other words, is guilty. I felt so convicted and I kid you not, I didn't know why. I'm just like, why am I convicted or feeling guilty for something that I enjoy doing? I couldn't find no wrong in it, you know, but obviously, you know, when you're a believer of God and you, you've been saved and you believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, you know, he has a plan for your life. And so God wants to clean you up in any, any way that he can. And so, you know, everybody's journey with the Lord is different. But for me, God convicted me 
he convicted me of smoking weed. And from that day that I sat on the side of my bed and lit the blunt and felt convicted, I felt convicted until the day that I stopped smoking. Like, I couldn't even enjoy smoking weed no more. I just couldn't enjoy it no more. Like, God was just telling me to stop smoking it. You know, and I did not want to sm quit smoking weed. I wanted to keep on doing it because I enjoyed it. I loved it. But, you know, um, sometimes when you... Everything that is good is not for you. You know, even though it feels good, it's just not for you. It's just, you know, the journey that you are on, that I am on, doesn't require me to smoke weed. Weed is not in my destiny. Smoking weed recreationally, that is. Like, I know it's people out here that have to smoke it for medical reasons. I ain't judging them. And I ain't judging people that do it recreationally. Like I said, I was there. Um, But this is for people that are struggling and they want to quit. I'm just here to tell you that God's promise is to deliver us from all sin that are hindering us from Him, going through with him. Your journey with the Lord is going to be a struggle, but I kid you not, he's going to deliver you from whatever is hindering you. Like whatever God instructs you to do, he's going to equip you with the tools, the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding to get it done. He's not going to just tell you to do something and not help you out along the way. He's going to help you out along the way. And so that's what he did to me. So when I finally put it in my head, all right, I want to quit smoking weed, the struggle became even harder. I kid you not, it was worse. Like, the devil was making it much easier for me to have access to getting weed, and that's what made it much harder for me. Like, I kid you not, it was just so easy for me to get weed, but it was some cases, like, where I put myself in danger just to get the weed. It was, like, almost like crack. Like, crackheads do whatever they can to get some crack or whatever they need to get their fix in and that's what I was doing with the weed like I was going out in the middle of the night just walking in the dark oh man get to meet the weed man to get my weed and I was sometimes I'll be walking I'll be just looking around and I could just feel God's protective angels just walking with me keeping me from any danger, any harm. I was putting myself in harm's way, but yet God was still protecting me along the way. And to this day, I just thank him for that because I could have been harmed or hurt in any type of way, but yet I was still putting myself in danger, even though, you know, what I was doing was wrong. And God protected me there and back. And he did that for this reason right now so I could tell my testimony to somebody else that's struggling. Like if you're struggling... You got to claim it in the name of Jesus that God is going to deliver you. And he's going to get you through that struggle. Like, it's going to be hard. I kid you not, it is. But you're going to get through it. Like, it's not... I used to tell myself, like, man, this struggle right here, trying to quit smoking weed, was literally one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life. Okay? Like, I'm not about to sugarcoat nothing. It ain't going to be easy. Especially if you're addicted to it. I guess I have addictive personality or whatever. So it wasn't easy for me at all. And I used to be like, man, I ain't going to never quit. But you got to stop saying that. Stop saying you're never going to get through. You're never going to quit. Because then if you say that, then it's going to be that. That's just how it's going to be. You got to tell yourself and pray to God and ask God for deliverance constantly. Pray without season. And I, it's going to work. Because he did it for me. And if he can do it for me, then I know he could do it for you. Man, God, you know, he's not going to leave you. Even if you... Say you're going to quit one day and you quit that day and go back the next day. God is still there. He still loves you and don't condemn yourself. That's what I had to learn too. I was condemning myself all the time. Like, man, I just, I keep going back. Then I kept beating myself up about it. But no, God is already forgiving you. Okay. Please understand that he is forgiving you. That sin is washed away. Ask for forgiveness, repent, and keep on praying day in and day out that God delivers you from this habit that you're trying to quit and so when I finally quit you know I had to because for me I was scared to quit because for one you know I felt like my appetite was about to be taken away and I wasn't gonna get no sleep those are the two things one of the two of the things that was keeping me with smoking weed and I just how I know it was God because when I quit smoking weed, the day I quit smoking weed, I still had an appetite and I was able to sleep. 
Now, I did take melatonin for a few days. Actually, no. And I'm not encouraging this at all. But I was taking NyQuil for a few days to help me sleep at night. And that worked. I didn't take it take NyQuil for more than a week or so. Because that's not good. I mean, you just take a NyQuil, you're not even sick. But they do got the nighttime kind, though. But that's what helped me sleep. And then I also got melatonin. Uh, I would take melatonin occasionally to help me sleep. And that's, that's what helped me get through. But like I said, my appetite did not go away for some reason. I thought that was going to be effective, but God knows everything. He knew that that was a worry of me, a concern of me. So he did not take my appetite away. I was still able to eat with a desire, you know, a desire to eat and all of that. And I, I just thank God for that because he didn't have to do that, but he, he knows the journey that I'm on. He knows the path that I'm on. He knows that plan that he has for my life. And he knows that, like I said, he'll equip you with everything that you need. And God, he allowed me to still have my appetite. Thank God. Um, so stop worrying. Just do it. It's going to happen. Pray for deliverance. God will deliver you. When you get tempted, just find something else to do. I know it's hard, but especially right now, we're living in a pandemic. You can't really go nowhere, do nothing because the coronavirus said we can't go nowhere. And that ain't cool. But throw yourself into the word. Read your Bible. Get you a Bible, a study Bible or something. Like clean up, do something that's going to keep your mind off of smoking weed. You know, like I said, I'm not judging nobody because there's things that I'm struggling with. For instance, I struggle with not drinking alcohol. I drink wine to help calm me down and ease my mind and stuff. That's something that I'm struggling with right now to quit. And I'm going to, I always tell myself, if God can deliver me some smoking weed, then he's going to deliver me some smoking alcohol. And I'm not saying that smoking alcohol or drinking alcohol, I'm sorry, <laughs> is bad or sin or anything like that. But like I said, everybody's journey with the Lord is different. So God, he's instructed me to stop drinking alcohol because where I'm going, the destiny that I have, according to his plan for my life, doesn't require me to drink alcohol. And the Bible says you need to be alert and sober minded. And so what I'm doing, I have to be sober minded at all times. And so with that being said, it's going to be a struggle with Everything doesn't come easy. And I used to get upset about that. I used to be like, God, why is everything so hard when it comes to doing things your way or trying to do things right? But God never said it was going to be easy. But God said he was going to be there for you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. He's going to get you through it. God is going to deliver you from anything that's hindering you from going through with him. The devil is going to try to tempt you at all costs. Anytime he can attempt you, he will. And... It's those moments where you have to really trust in God and really t speak positivity into your mind and into yourself so that you can stay on that straight and narrow. Because like I said, it's, it's going to be a struggle. You're going to get tempted along the way, but God, he's there with you. So don't be discouraged because God has not forgotten. And when I said that I flipped over in the Bible and I came across this uh, passage that said deliverance is promised. It comes out of the book of Michael, second chapter, Micah, second chapter, it just says deliverance promised. Um, it just says, I will surely gather all of you, Jacob. I will surely bring together the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. The the one who breaks open the way will go up before them. They will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord at their head. So he's basically telling them he's going to deliver them for, you know, the, whatever they're going through at the time. The enemies or whatever was not going to stop them. God is going to protect them and get them through that. And so the enemy here at hand, when you're struggling with trying to stop a bad habit that God wants you to stop is the devil. You know, he's going to stop you at any cost. But God is going to deliver you. He's going to get you through that gate. He's going to allow you to succeed. So you got to keep telling yourself and speaking positivity into whatever you're going through so that you can get through it. If you continue to speak negativity and say, oh, I'm not going to get through it, this and that, then that's what's going to happen. You're going to still be struggling. You're going to still be smoking that weed. 
you don't keep on sinning and it ain't gonna work out because you just keep saying negative stuff but you gotta speak positivity a negative mind never gives you a positive life and so um i'm just here to tell you that the lord is real so i just want you to um i got i printed out some uh cards for when i get tempted i just read these whenever that keeps me going and it's different scriptures but i'm i'm gonna give you one of these that i want you to focus on um that's going to help you along the way and i feel like it's this one right here it comes from the book of james 4 7 i don't know if that you can see that like that the right way it, because, you know, the camera, you, you now. But in case you can't read that, I'm going to read it. It says, James 4, 7, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I kid you not. Whenever you continuously flee or resist the devil, he will eventually flee from you. The reason being is because he, he like, oh, okay, she's strong now. I can't get to her. You know, the flesh is weak. The spirit is strong, the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh isn't. So it's going to be a constant battle. When I was trying to quit smoking weed, I literally felt the battle within me. I felt the war that was in me. Like the spirit was tugging me this way, but the flesh was tugging me that way. But I, I resisted and, you know, I, I asked God to take the taste and the desire out of my mouth to smoke from smoking weed. And he did that. He did just that. So, like I said, James 4, 7. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Keep on resisting. Keep on praying. And keep on so the devil can see that you ain't nobody to be messed with. Okay? Like, that's that. Um, So, keep on pushing. Keep on trying. You know, apply this method not just to smoking weed, but to any other struggle that you're going through in your life. Whether it's smoking weed drinking alcohol any type of drug or substance abuse or any type of sin anything that is a sin is apart from god anything that is not good is bad and that is a sin so you know apply this method to other struggles in your life not just smoking weed because there's other things in your life that i'm sure you're struggling with that you're trying to quit but it's gonna be okay trust god trust the process be obedient so that you can receive the blessings that he has for you. Um, I love each and every one of you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. A lot of people are telling me that they're watching my videos, but I don't see my subscriber count going up, which, you know, it is what it is. But I want this, I want my messages to reach as many people as possible. So just subscribe to my channel so I can know that people are, you know, watching me and being encouraged. Share this video with other people. Now, I will say this. You do have to have a YouTube account or a Google account to subscribe. If you don't, it's easy. Just make you an account. If you're a computer and phone lit literate, then you can make you an account. Just go ahead and do it. It's real quick and easy. And subscribe to my channel. That's it. Comment down below. Leave any type of messages or questions. You know, I'm here to answer them for you. Um... And I just want everybody to be encouraged. Stay walking in the Lord. You know, if anybody gets offended, I have to say I'm not sorry. Because I believe what I believe and I say what I say and I mean what I say. Stop living in sin and willingly and uh, then you won't be so convicted. That's probably why you're getting mad. But it's okay though. We all been there and so I'm still there like myself we all ain't nobody perfect like I said but like I said we love I love you guys be encouraged stay encouraged stay safe stay healthy stay prayed up and read the word okay read the word because that's what's going to save you I can sit here and talk to you all day about the Lord and the goodness of Jesus Christ but you need to get to know him for yourself Spend time with the Lord. That pleases him, okay? All right, so I'm out. Deuces.